Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series. This is Non-League to Legend. And, well, I'll just give a... I'm Joe if you're new around here. Um, I'll just give a quick synopsis of what Non-League to Legend is. You take uh, over the club in Non-League that is closest to you um, geographically, where you live in real life, and that for me is Gateshead. Uh, I go through every day on the way to uni. Um, and yeah, basically, you're not allowed to use the player search screen, so this one here, you're not allowed to find players like that. You've got to merely use players that you have scouted, that your scout team have produced, so um, you have to look at those. Um, and yeah, you, do, you just have to go through the leagues, you, you, you move by applying for jobs. I mean, you can stay with one club for forever and, and try and win the Champions League, but you just go as long as possible, but uh, keep it realistic. Um, and yeah, it'll, it'll be a big, big challenge for me, uh, but it's it's something that I've been inspired to do by Lelujo FM. I'll leave his channel in the description. He's a very, very fast-grown YouTuber um, in the FM community, and he's, he's probably my favourite FM YouTuber. He's done this the last couple of years um the non-league to legend and it's been thoroughly uh, entertaining and it's inspired me to give it a go myself um you know someone project i haven't had as much motivation to do to be honest um but yeah we'll we'll get straight into it so gateshead is the club that's nearest to me geographically it's just over the bridge from newcastle if you're familiar with the time bridge um, that big green bridge that uh, goes over the water um, yeah that that's the bridge that connects Gateshead and Newcastle so um, it's quite a, a, a nice town you know um, it's it's quite little um, but yeah the Metro Centre you might see there into Metro Centre is the biggest shopping place in Europe I believe so that's in Gateshead uh, and that's quite a cool little thing so the objective is to get from being a bare bones manager, if you look at my profile, um, you know, humble beginnings in South Shields, uh, 35 years old, all the stats are down at the bottom because I've only got a National C license and I was a Sunday League footballer. So all of the stats are down um, and we'll, we'll just see what happens. Um, Gateshead, they're an alright club, you know, if you if you look at the last few years, they're, they're always up there in the in the conference uh, or national league as it's known now so the, the objective will be to, to keep that going try and get into the the playoffs maybe this year but we'll have a look at what the board expect us to do let's go to the meeting then uh, so let's get started uh, they've been around for a while cool uh, as the, the, the philosophies yep um, yep uh, we'll delay that till the afternoon because you don't need to see that on camera. Uh, so there we go, we're on £775 a week. <coughs> so humble beginnings in terms of wage. We've only got a one year contract so we need to impress this year otherwise they're just going to get rid of us. Um, we've got Sam Johnson in on loan apparently. No injuries, responsibilities. Um, that's okay. We'll sort all of that out. Uh, there's Gateshead, a background. They've won two Evo Stick League Premier Divisions. Um, and they play at the Gateshead International Stadium, which is quite a big stadium. I uh, go past it every day on the bus. and No, it's a, it's a good little stadium. It'll, it'll certainly suffice until the Championship. And it's just smaller than Bournemouth Stadium, so it, it could be a Premier League stadium, uh, scarily. But... Um, they want us to finish mid-table, that should be fine. FA Cup first round, FA Trophy third round, that should all be fine, looking at the schedule. We've got Newcastle in a pre-season friendly, that'll be fun. But Chester will be when I see you guys. Let's have a quick look at the squad, have we got any star players? Uh, Manny Smith apparently, centre-back, 27 years old Englishman. Um, yeah, he's been knocking around for a fair while, he's been in League One. Um, up until 2014 and then went down to the National League for the last couple of seasons. So he's got experience and he's pretty good. 
which uh, which is um, what we like to see. Any five star potential? Well, I've got potential five star potential. <laughs> Um, it'll certainly be interesting to see what our stronger squad is and, and what kind of formation we can come up with. So we might try and stick with the Sunderland tactic. You know, it did very well for us while we were there. We'll make some signings. Looking at uh, finances, we've got 35k to spend and 20 grand on wages. That's okay. We've got six grand to to spend um, if needs be. So that should be fine. Um, so anyway, I'll see you guys for the Chester game, and that'll be in just a second. Right guys, we're ready <coughs> for our first match. Uh, let's have a look at the transfer business that we've done. Uh, signed quite a few players, as you can see. Um, Callum Williams from Newcastle uh, brought him in, four-star ability, four-star potential. Uh, Mashak Kanda, he was actually at the club before. Uh, I've brought him in um, and he had a good pre-season so he's going to start a day. Uh, Louis Rowley or Rowley um, he's coming from Leicester so you know, I think he's going to be a good sign and he's versatile. Lee Hughes 40 years old now but um, obviously he's a proven goal scorer at, at, at all levels really uh, apart from the Premier League um, but everywhere else he's a, he's a proven goal scorer and um, yeah, hoping he'll be able to pick up a few goals this year. And now this is a funny one, Andy Thanodge. Um, he was on Dr. Benji FM's playthrough last year. I've seen him. Um, his reports are good. And yeah, I think I'll bring him in. See how he does. Uh, Afalabi Koka uh, brought him in on a free transfer from Norwich. Got good potential. He's going to be a good player. Corey Francis, the same. Um, very good potential. Matthew George, we poached him. Um, you know, lots of young players with good ability and good potential. Perry Cotton, uh, back up right back for us. Uh, Jack Dyche uh, is coming on loan from Scunthorpe, back up attacking midfielder. And Latif uh, Elford uh, Aliu uh, comes in. He's he scored goals in League One. Um, he's a he's a youth product from uh, West Brom, so we'll see how he does. Uh, and let's have a look at uh, our pre-season was pretty good, by the way. We took Newcastle to a four-three, which was not too bad at all. Danny Johnson scoring two goals there, maybe he's worth a look. Um, yeah, decent pre-season, didn't he? But uh, we lost 2-1 to Yeovil in the league above, but then beat um, Starley Bridge Celtic 1-0. Uh, so, yeah, this is the team for today. Danny Johnson, unfortunately, not in the squad. Uh, we're going to move these trialists to the under-23 squad. And as you can see, we have a good, meaty squad. Um, and, yeah, we'll try and do this. We're going to go for... The tactic I've done at Sunderland, obviously, I don't think that this team can be as expansive down the wings as a Sunderland team, but hopefully we'll be able to get a result today um, against Chester. It's going to be tough. Um, oh, no. I haven't got the settings right. Uh, this could take a while. I hope it won't. It, um, definitely isn't what we want we want that to be 2d classic uh, that on director that seems okay I'll do um, new save and all isn't it right we're the favorites let's get into it so turn this match feed off for all of this one second goals on goals yellow cards red cards offsides I'll do so here we go, let's see how we do. Uh, we're passing the ball about nicely in this first minute. Um, Brundle with a free kick. Smith, Kanda, that's the way back to Smith here. Mm, a couple of Smiths in the side, George and Manny, so that'll be interesting. Brundle now, I uh, don't know how to say his name. Alfred, I think we're going to call him. Oh, but he has a lobby good tackle by Williams. That's away. That's exactly what we needed there. 
good stuff. Uh, but a boring game so far. Uh, obviously, uh, we need to get rid of that. There we go. Now, Kanda, Brundle, Ailfad, Francis, M Mafusa. Uh, or is it Mafufa? I don't know. Oh, Ailfad over the bar. Or oh, Ailfad. McLaughlin, what a goal that is. Paddy McLaughlin. Left foot. Brilliant strike just outside the area into the top corner and it's 1-0 to the heed. Come on. That is what we're talking about. Now Lloyd into the middle. Oh, it's 1-1 one, one straight away. Alfie Egan uh, with the goal there. Lloyd crossed it and then, yeah, good goal. Got to respect that. It's over the bar. Hmm. So, half time, 1-1. One, one. Difficult to tell how things are going at the moment. Um, but we'll certainly, certainly see how they go uh, in the second half. Maybe make a couple of changes. That was dangerous. Very, very dangerous indeed. Yeah, Howard. Now Smith, that's back. Now here's Smith, Elfad. Smith forward to Can oh, uh, Kanda, I think his name is, isn't it? McLaughlin into the middle over the bar by Smith. Unlucky. Time for a change, me thinks. We're going to bring Lee Hughes on and play him as an advanced forward. See what he can do. Proven goal scorer. Brundle over the bar. Hogan's having an absolutely horrendous game. Club captain Lee Hughes with a, a shot off already. McLaughlin into the middle. So away. Here's Shaw. Yeah, Lee Hogan. Wow. 5.4. I don't think I've seen ratings that bad for a long time. We'll bring on Coker. Uh, right back. Smith not having a good game either. Mafuta, that's his name. McLaughlin into the middle. Uh, Lloyd, oh no, skinned, oh dear. Oof. Um, put him there. I want to bring Andy Than Thanage on. Um, but I don't think we're going to uh, particularly play him up there and play him. He doesn't like to play that role actually, so we will bring Andy Thanoy on. Or Thanoj, sorry. I'm going to bring him on for him. It's a central midfielder on automatic. And we're going to swap them two back around like that. And let's get back into it. Come on. Come on, lads. This is what we want. We want a victory. Kanda uh, looked offside, but Kanda gets back in and it's 2 1. Mechak Kanda, the new boy. He's not really reported well, but you know, he's he's got um, goals in pre season. He scored there today, but uh, he has a chance for Chester on the break. Now Francis forward to Kanda again, and Lee Hughes, good save by Roberts. Lee Hughes has looked dangerous since he's come on. Could be a start for him next time out. The 40 year old of course. Here's Brundle into the middle. Francis just over the bar. Unlucky. Roberts away. Here's Kanda and that's out for a throw. Lee Hughes and Francis. Thanoy. Kanda. Good save by Roberts. Good save. And that is full time. 2-1. A victory in our first match as manager of Gateshead. That is what we're, we're talking about. Uh, Gateshead in control as Chester brushed aside. Uh, Manny Smith made his debut. Um, there we go. We've been awarded that. Um, and there you go. So, McLaughlin impresses. What a free kick it was. It really was a good free kick. Um, we'll just say that keep his confidence up so when we're going to come back that is the question we'll probably play through the transfer window and come back against Sutton United at the start of September so that's quite a few matches for me to get through but um, 
yeah, that'll be good to get me me teeth stuck into it. Uh, let us know what you think down in the comments um, about the, the format of the videos I am hoping to change. Um, I am probably going to record the whole of the first season uh, before this is even released on YouTube because I, I am still playing the Sunland Project but I don't want to release two series at the same time so uh, you'll see this after the finale of the Sunland Project so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode please leave a like down below if you did you don't have to of course bone me love for me and for the channel and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye